Okay, the next thing in here is panorama, and I'm not going to talk a lot about this because it is essentially just create panoramic. And and when you create that pano, it is just going to when you export that pano, it's just going to put a it's the same settings as a camera, as a still shot. But with this one when you export it, you will be able to look around from this particular position. So you can adjust all the time and all that stuff individual for this panoramic again but the export will be different. So let's talk a little bit about video. We can create and edit video here. If we go into create, we can create clip. Okay, and Twin Motion makes it super easy. All we have to do is now go to the next point that we want to go and add that as a new point in our animation. Okay, so let's do it real quick. All we have to do is we have this one saved as our first point. Now if I navigate to the next view I want, like right here, looking at our friend inside the house. Yeah, there we go. And then hit plus, and it does that. The other way to do it is hit plus first, then navigate somewhere, and then you can hit the refresh button, and that will make it a new and that will update your next clip for you. Okay, but you can see, so I have one clip saved with my first view and now a second clip saved with my second view. We've got clip length here where we can set it to different times. We can change the, the time of day at the start of the rendering to the end. So let's try that real quick. So at start, we want that. At the end, we want Let's go closer to dusk, right? Not full night. Okay. So we can do that. And then if we just hit play, you'll see it starts at my original clip. The time is changing as we're going. Okay, and then it just stops here. So it does like a smooth transition between the two. And we can just keep adding more and more clips to it, or we can go and start another clip, which I think is what I would want to do. With this, you don't want to animate around your entire scene just walking around with the camera spinning. This is a common mistake that people make. That is not how a movie would be made. That's not how we should make our animations. Okay, animations should be quick, or quick clips with slow camera motions, panning, Zooming, possibly, uh, camera dollies, cameras on booms, those kind of things. Think cinematically when you're doing your animations. Because otherwise, people will get sick, or they'll just think this looks fake. Okay, so Twin Motion gives you the ability to easily, easily animate. That doesn't mean we should just animate around the entire scene. Okay, so think about camera clips you want to do. I want to do i got to set the preferences on this thing down. I want to do one where we're, we're dollying a camera over the pool, looking at the house. So let's see how we can set something like that up. So first off, we want to be kind of over here. We need to set our field of view bigger. Okay, let's center it. So we can go in here and change the settings just like we can on a still shot. I want a wider field of view. No. Make sure that once we get in the right place that we have, we hit the refresh button to save that clip in the spot that we want it. Okay, now refresh. So now that is saved as the camera view that I want. Actually, let's go back here like this. Yes. Now, lock that in. Okay. Obviously, our depth of field is getting a little crazy here. I don't like that. So let's go in here. Let's turn the radius. Actually, up is what we want. This is giving this the amount of area that is in focus. So we want a large amount of area in focus, right? That looks pretty good right there. 
and then we just want to slowly move across this pool. So let's go back into here. We can create a new clip or a new keyframe basically. Then we can just slowly move forward. We'll move forward to right about here, lock that in. Okay, I'm not gonna do any time changes or anything during this one. We're just gonna do a slow pan towards the house. Now, she needs to be maybe doing something. <laughs> no. We just would change the animation to be something like where she's talking on her phone. I think that works. Right, that way she's doing something while we're animating. So let's go back to our animation. Okay, let's play. She's sitting there talking on her phone. We zoom in towards the house. Okay, so simple, simple clips. I like it. Okay, there's the animation. I think we could turn down the wind on the on the trees and things like that. If we go into more, let's see if we can do it in here. Weather, settings, wind speed, zero. I think that's better. We could also do something like, we could adjust the pool so that it's not so jittery too, right? Okay, so these are all things we can think about, but that's how you set up a basic animation path and save it and again we'll look at how to export all of this stuff in a little bit in a few more lectures when we get down to this tab but let's keep talking about different settings we might need to use inside of the animation or the video